this is the 2021 range of motorhomes from Challenger from France. In this video, we're going to look at some seven meter semi integrated vehicles. And I say seven meter, it's 699 if it's on a Ford engine and 696 if it is on a Fiat engine, then, or chassis, I should say, really. And the uh, the width is, it's not written here, but it's 235. And uh, in this case, we've got a payload of or empty weight 2978 and a cost of 55,334. This one has a German layout. So we'll contrast some of the layouts and what you get. You've got a bed in the ceiling up here. And, oh, look how they've done this. This is nice. We can see how it works in action. So that is the bed when it has been laid out in full. So if you don't want this here, you take this out, you fold this up. This has its own home somewhere. And you stick in the garage and you've got two singles. Uh, one of the problems, of course, is though, that with that out, you can't get into the, um, the what do you call that? The wardrobes down there. And, oh, so therefore you've got to lift this up like that. So now you can get in the wardrobe. Clever, eh? And you also see what the, uh, what's made of lightweight material. Right, Ooh, put that back nicely. And let's have a look on this side. Storage there. So, you know, you may think, oh, it's a silly big bed, what's all that for? And what you can do is you get covered, you get sheets. Oh, sorry, the, the uh, you can get, I get covers for everything. I don't know if you can get them. I said you can get covers. Well, I don't know where from. But uh, if a uh, challenger uh, could supply them or somebody, I think somebody would go in business and do some deal with challenger for that, in my opinion. Anyway, come in here, two drain plugs, nice bright. Washroom. This thing here swings out. It's attached by a magnet at the back. Ooh, and that magnet is pretty tight, so that's quite good. I suppose it'll lose its magnetism once it's been used a bit, but for the moment, that's pretty good. Okay, this isn't particularly exciting, I suppose. Two burners, but you know, I suppose that, that'll do, that's enough bed up, up the top right so let's go now and have a look at the next van in this exciting video which is here but this one here seven meter vehicle and uh, this one has my uh, preferred layout of the uh, bed at the back this thing here is going to cost 56,309 the bed at the back my preferred layout is the this one, the width-wise bed, which also offers the garage down there. Didn't show the garage in the last one. We'll possibly do that on the way back, if I remember. And this rather, I suppose, nice, elegant washroom. And you've got a bed there. And the bed above, there's a bit. bed up there. Five people in a seven person van. Sorry, in a seven meter van. And the thing is, it's not so much of being a squash, it's more of a point of being overweight. All right, this one is the 287 GA. This has also got a German layout at the back. Oh, it's new. Or does it, does it mean that taking a shower is new? Well, here we can conveniently see what it looks like when that is not in the right position. And you can see the stand folded up. Same nice um, washroom. Although, is that toilet too high? 
I'm just asking, I, I don't know. That will cost 59,000 euros. All right, 287 GA, okay, it's the same again. And this one's gonna cost 60,227, so it's got some more stuff inside. I wonder what. I you seen different colours anyway. Lots of automatic uh, gear change. And you can see some of the other vehicles here. I'll come back to this one here. Garage. So with this German layout, you get a pretty good garage in the back. Says there's got grade three all season insulation. I wonder. As you do with the my favourite layout, get enormous garage. But let's now come to the queen bed and see. Well, the queen bed also actually gives us a pretty good garage. So uh, that. This, this will go up. You've got another 30 centimetres that will go up. So it'll give a lot of space in there. This one is the 268 at a cost of 57,000. But doesn't it look nice without that bed? Two uh, USBs in the kitchen. There aren't any in the back though, which would be the most sensible place to put it, in my opinion. Well, so you have a quick, a very quick tour around the seven meter range from uh, Challenger. We'll do the 720 range a bit later. And now I shall come around here to conclude. See people now getting ready for today's events. And uh, so, they want to sell motorhomes, that's what they're here for. They're not just here to have uh, me sort of uh, look at their vans. And uh, right, if you find that interesting, um, do, uh, you might do, do subscribe. I hope, you, um, hope you'll give it a like as well. And uh, I've got more information about these Challenger vans, maybe not all of them, but some of them on my website, which is motorhomefulltime.com uh, which you can see uh, um, well, you can see, see whenever you want uh, there's much fewer people watch my look at my uh, motorhomefulltime.com look at my YouTube site but uh, I possibly have even more information on my, my uh, normal website thanks very much for being here and watching and to play yourself out here is the sound of the hoovers